how do we manage a case of Barrett's esophagus? The primary treatment is mainly treating the GERD and then and the next thing is surveillance. So uh, catching the patient early is very important. As I told you know Barrett's esophagus without any dysplasia it doesn't require any treatment but a periodical endoscopy has to be done. Next comes with the patient with a low grade dysplasia. Again there is no active treatment for this but a repeated biopsy has to be done. For example uh, <coughs> the patient is having low grade dysplasia on day 1 again we will have to repeat it after few months again the repeat biopsy uh, every three years or something like that and then when the patient is having a high grade dysplasia definitely we will have to intervene uh, endoscopically and uh, this high grade dysplasia is very highly malignant. The Actually the malignancy rate can vary in a uh, Barrett's esophagus from 0.12 to 12 percent. So you can imagine the spectrum of uh, the instance of uh, carcinoma or esophagus in this Barrett's esophagus. Now how do we treat? We have different modalities endoscopically that is one is known as APC that is argon plasma coagulation. The second one is radiofrequency ablation and the next one comes as the uh, submucosal resection or endo uh, EMR or the endomycosal resection. So these are the different ways of treating. So depending on the type of lesion we have to treat accordingly. These are different methods of more technical uh, methods for a common man but you know they are all non-invasive. And then you know even though we do this uh, repeat biopsy is imp very important in the follow up of the patients because what happens uh, there can be recurrence of uh, the dysplasia or malignancy in spite of the treatment. So that is why periodic surveillance is very important.